Thanks so much for speaking with us, Chloe Grace Moretz. So you're here at Sundance with Laggies. You play mm -hmm. Annika. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your character, who you play, what she's like? Um, well, I play Annika, and she's a 16-year-old girl. She's a really kind of interesting character. I mean, she, her mom left her, her and her dad when she was about 13, so she's kind of living in this weird world. She's trying to grow up, but at the same time, she's kind of stunted by that, like, who am I, who's my mom, like, you know what I mean, that kind of we're all to get into when you're when you're uh, caught in the middle of a divorce as a young girl, and she meets this 28-year-old Kira Knightley's character, Megan, and Megan is kind of confused about where she is in her life, and she ends up living in my house with me, unbeknownst to my dad, and then my dad, Sam Rockwell, he finds out, and then um, the story kind of takes its own kind of weird coming-of-age story between a 16-year-old and a 28-year-old. So this film, there are a lot of sort of female presences on yeah. this film. It was directed by Lynn Shelton and mm -hmm. written by Andrea Siegel and stars you mm -hmm. and Kira. Yeah. Did that contribute to a collaborative environment or unique environment? Yeah, yeah. It was a very, it was a very, you know, a very maternal environment for sure. I mean, I think Lynn is such a, an interesting director, and she's so sweet. You know, she really made being on set just comfortable and fun. And then you had Sam. Like Sam, yeah, he's a guy, but he is like the coolest guy you'll ever meet. He's just super chill and he'll dance and like he brings his jam box on the set and just listens to music and like he's crazy. <laughs> so you've done some big budget movies recently. Mm -hmm. You did Carrie, you've mm -hmm. done the two kick-ass films. Mm -hmm. And does doing an independent film like this also mix it up for you and keep it challenging? For sure, definitely. I mean, I, I did so many films last year. I did I did Laggies, which was such an interesting film at the beginning of the year, and then I did Sils Maria with Olivier Asias, and, um, and then I went on and I did Dark Places um, and with Charlie Theron, and that was another really small project. So I had really great, like three really great under like four million dollar movies, and so I think that doing those type movies for me is just, it's more exciting because you don't have, also, I mean, what I like is that you don't have the the studio breathing over your neck on like what they want the script to be. So it's just you and your director collaborating and your actors like just with you and, and just it's nice to do a project that where you're you're not making anything. You know what I mean? Like you don't you don't make any money and all you're hoping to do is just make a good project with great people and just try and try and make it the best you can. You know, I think that's really what the craft is about. So you're about to turn 17. Mm -hmm. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Can you talk about your next exciting project? You're going to be on the stage. Yeah, I am. I'm doing the library with uh, Steven Soderbergh directing, Scott Burns um, writing it, and uh, Frank Marshall producing it. I'm playing this amazing ca uh, character named Caitlin. Mm -hmm. And the story kind of revolves around this school shooting that happens. And it's the lies and the truths and the, the way that one little, you know, simple sort of looking lie can affect a whole person's life and how uh, the press kind of climbs to find the truth and find a reason and find something to blame. Mm. And when they find that one person, it just all sinks into them when they did nothing wrong. You're wonderfully poised for a 17-year-old, <laughs> way more than I was at 17. No. I mean, do you feel starting this business at a young age has really forced you to mature pretty quickly? Definitely. I mean, I think that, you know, being in this business since I was five years old, I definitely learned how to speak to adults and, like, learned how to present myself and whatever else. But at the same time, I mean, I think I think I'm good at talking about what I want to talk about. Like I love talking about my projects. And I love talking about like this business in 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 like my artistic way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when I have to talk about like, I'm not good at talking about like contracts or anything. So I think for me, it's like I'm poised when I'm when I when I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I feel comfortable mm -hmm. in that. But when mm -hmm. I'm like with my friends and with like other 16 year olds, I'm like, oh, wait, <laughs> what is this world? I don't know. You know? Really? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, in a weird way, yeah. Just because yeah. I had my best friend since I was like six. So I'm not like, I'm not like good with like other teenagers. Because they don't understand like my job, you know, my business at all. Your daily life. Yeah. yeah, they don't, they don't get it. And they're kind of afraid of it. So it's like a weird relationship, you know what I mean? Sure.